some short box exercises today. First, we're going to start with a side sit-up. We're going to have our hand down on the headrest. A lot of times with side sit-ups, people tend to do this. I want you to act as if your body is in between two panes of glass. It kind of feels like you're sticking your chest out and your head back, but that it's just the way it feels this way. So you want to keep your chest open, your head in line with your spine. I like to just bring my arm to the side like this. You're welcome to do this. There's different variations. I like to do this and reach my armpit down to my waist. Your hips are squared off, pointing straight across the room. You can keep your hand here as a little bit of support, or you can take that hand and place it behind your back. You're going to lower down nice and slow. Exhale, you lift up nice and slow. Inhale, lower down slow. Exhale, lift up slow. See how I'm not using momentum? You can also reach and back up. You reach and back up. Then you can go down and then you hold it. Your arms can go out and you can tap. Open. Tap. Tap. Then you can hold and pulse. 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 You can stretch. You can do different variations of that. Also from here, what I like to do is you're already in this position. You take that leg out. Abs are tight. You lift the leg lower. You can add some pulses. You can bend the knee in, press out, and pulse again. Different variations there. Try it out. Fingertips are reaching down to the ground. Pull your shoulders down. Hips and shoulders are squared off. Straight arm back. Straight arm down. Straight arm back. And down. Do six. straight across the room. Three, two, hold it there. Lift the leg, lower, lift, lower, five, four, three, two, hold it up there, bend the elbow in, press out, six, Hinging at the elbow. Five. 
your core engage to the edge of the box, high on your pokey hip bones, or sits bones, high on your sits bones. Take an inhale, you're going to act like someone punched in the gut, and you're going to scoop and roll down. Belly button stays pulled up and in. Take an inhale, exhale, you roll back up. And again, you roll off your sits bones, you scoop. And come back up. Let's do three more. Three. Back up the whole time. Navel stays back to the spine. Two. And up. One. This time, let's just come up halfway. You're coming up halfway. Lower belly scooped out, shoulders are down. You open, come back to center. Open, good. As you're twisting, the lower belly stays hollowed out. The knees stay pointing straight across the room. You're simply bringing out that upper torso. Three. Three. Two. So challenge yourself to keep pulling that navel back towards your spine a little bit more. And last one. I love rotation. And one. Come back up. Pulse up. Pulse. I'm pulsing from the upper abs as the lower abs stay down. Three. Two. One. Roll up. Okay. Next, we're going to do some hinging. So we just curl through the spine. Now we're going to keep the spine nice and neutral, nice and straight. Act as if you're Ken or Barbie. Your back's here. They don't have, they can't articulate, right? They just have a hinge. So take an inhale, arms reach. You're going to take an inhale to repair. Exhale, you hinge back. Go to your shaky point. Take another inhale, exhale, come forward. Feel like you're being pulled up from a string right from underneath your pubic bone. Inhale, exhale, flat back, hold. Inhale, exhale, flat back, forward. Inhale, exhale, flat back, hold, reach. Inhale, exhale, forward. Two more. Inhale, exhale, flat back. Go to your shaky point, your abs are tight. And come forward on the exhale. One more, we stay back there. Inhale, exhale, flat back, hold. Lower the arms, lift. Lower, I am so shaky, lift. Do three, I'm creating some of my own resistance with my arms. Two, one, hold it here, come up, exhale. Whew, that's hard. You don't have to go back super far. If you have any discomfort in your back, you come up a little bit. And when you come up, feel like there's a string right here and that's what's more short box exercises. Just in a different spot. I'm gonna be in a turnout position in a high back toe. My hips are squared, arms are reaching up. I'm inhaling in, exhale, I'm pressing out. Inhaling in. Exhale, press. This is very much hamstring, glutes, all kinds of stuff. Sometimes when I do this, I like to add weights. So you're going out, inhale, exhale in. Out, inhale, exhale in. You can continue with that for about 8 to 12 reps. And then you can pause, come in. Lose the turnout. Now, if you want it, one leg goes out. Pull back in. Out. Pull in. This is really hard. You can switch. Try the best you can to let your hips sag. I'm sure mine did there. Out. Out. I have it on one light spring, and then you relax and walk it in. Super hard, fun to challenge yourself. Try it out. Hi guys, 
I have the short box in the same position it just was for the last exercise. My feet are pointing that way. We're going to press out, come in. Press out, come in. Again, you can use weights here. You can add some arm movement. Try as best you can to keep those hips squared. We're working all kinds of muscles that are hard to get here while creating length with our spine. It's good stuff. You can press out, stay here. You can add a twist. It's hard to balance. Twist this way too. Twist, come in, bring it in. You can add to that. You go out, twist, in, and open. Twist, reach, and return. It's good stuff. Another thing here, you can come down to your elbows. You come up into a hover. Walk your feet out. You're in that hover. Okay, then you press out. Take both knees towards one direction. Bend, press. Bend, press. Little jackrabbit. Then you can stay out there and you can pike. 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 And you can hold a plank. Hi guys. I'm going to show you another exercise using the short box. You're not so as much using it, it's just there for a little bit of support. So I have it on one red. You can be on more or less. I'm on my knee. You're putting a strap at the bottom part of your ankle. So first you have to find your balance. See, I'm already losing it. All right, hips are squared. I'm resting my fingertips here. Bring that leg out in front. Hips are squared. You're just gonna kind of take your leg one way, go the other way. You're kind of just swinging it side to side while keeping your hips squared. Your abs are real tight. This is way harder than you think it is. Let's do five, four, three, just as in with everything Pilates, my chest is open, hips are square. Then you're going to stay one, go back to center. You're going to lower your leg, lift, try and go straight down, straight up. Do six, this is so hard, it doesn't look hard, it is. Four, three, two, one. Stay here, take your leg out and just press it away. And back. Out. Do five, four, this is really hard. Three, two, one. I could barely even get the last one in. Hi everybody. Short box again. I have the strap on the inside of my leg closest to the back of the machine. I have it on one red. You can go more or less. Hands are behind my head. Or you can have your hands here or holding on here. All I'm going to do to start, my hips stay square. I'm going to take the foot with the strap, take it out to the side, Come back up, out to the side, come back up. I'm going to do six, five, I'm not letting the left hip go along with that leg, four, three, two, one, I'm going to squeeze my legs tight. Squeeze, nice and tight. I'm dipping both feet down, lift both feet up. Dip down, up. Five, say hello to your core. Four, with the resistance on the one side, not the other, you get some oblique work. Three, two, you don't have to go all the way down like that. One, I'm gonna go to frog. Okay, hands go back behind my head. I'm gonna reach my right arm to the side 
and back. Reach that resistance on the inside leg is making all these muscles work. Three, two, one. Other side. Reach. Reach. Three, two, one. Hands go behind my head. Take my legs out. I'm going to lower my foot with the strap and I'm just going to cross. Cross. Five. Four. This is really hard. Three. Two. One. My cubic bone and pokey hip bones are in the box. I'm going to walk myself up the frame. I'm holding on to the outside of the pegs. Shoulders are down. Legs are long. I'm going to inhale out. Exhale, pull in, reach. Inhale. Exhale. As you do this, the belly button stays pulled up and in. Again, you're not using momentum. You press away slow, come back in slow. Legs are long. Again, since it's short box instead of long box, you just have to work a little bit harder to keep those legs long. You can change your grip, put your hands on top with your knuckles up and your elbows go low. I have it on a red. You can go to a blue, you can go to a yellow, you can go warm. You can hold some and do little pulses. You can bend your knees, take it out, bend, bend, connect your heels. You're still in about halfway, so your arms are working that isometric work and you're going to pulse your legs up, pulse, squeeze your butt, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you can do that a few times. I usually do like three sets of ten, hold and pulse, but you can do whatever you like. Another fun thing I like to do with the short box on is I put it on a lighter spring weight. This kind of just helps us with a little more balance. Uh, we put one foot here, soften the sand leg, and you go out nice and slow. You come in nice and slow. So you can do that a few times. Again, I'm not digging down in here. You can, if you're feeling brave, you can even let go. It's kind of scary. So you do that a few times. And then you can stay out there. You can stay into a high plank or go down to your elbows. So you find that position and then you take your other foot back there. And you breathe. And you breathe. Then I like to take one of my legs and I tilt it, reach. And I twist, reach, twist, reach. You can do that on the other side. In, dip, reach. In, hello, obliques and upper body. And back to your plank and then you can go to the other side so then you come in slow press out slow just to kind of add some interest in between planking you have the balance component you have so much work going on in the standing leg then if you want you can bring it in you can take one leg out, other arm out, add in a little bit more balance. You can take the leg and arm out to the side. Hold and return. So just some other fun things you can do on short box. Both sides, whatever you do one side, make sure you do the other. 